Welcome to Q&A Thursday. I am your coach, Tandor Tanavoli. Let's begin. My friends say I have commitment issues, even with making a coffee date with them. What does that have to do with anything? Please help. Thank you, Tan Tan, for writing in. Let's begin by delving into the meaning of commitment itself. Commitment is a dedication to a person or a cause. It leads to a person taking responsibility for certain actions and being liable for it. Commitment builds trust, loyalty, connection between people because you're telling them, I am going to be here and you can count on me. Lack of commitment, however, is driven by fear. Fear of what if I can't make it? What if something better comes up for me? It doesn't allow the other person to count on you, to be able to rely on you because you're keeping yourself non-accountable for any action and you do not want to take responsibility. And that's what lack of commitment leads to. So I have a few good tips here for you that if you follow them, you can prove to your friends that you're a committing type of person and you can still show up to any coffee date, anywhere, anytime. Number one, make a decision and map it out. I don't mean make a decision right now on the spot and say, okay, starting tomorrow, I will be on time for all my coffee dates. I don't mean that. I mean really think about it. Why are you committing? What is the reason that you're making this decision? It could be because people are not trusting you anymore. People don't want to hang out with you anymore. Is that the reason why you decide that you want to be a committing person? So make sure you know the reason behind the decision you're making. And are you committed enough to the decision itself? Knowing that if fear shows up, you will still push through, you will still take the action because those people are more important to you than fear itself. Which gets us to number two. Is it interest or is it commitment? Let's say you're out with your friends one night and you all come up with a great plan and in the moment of excitement, you're like, I'm fully in, please count me in. You commit yourself in the moment of excitement telling them you can count on me. So let's say the next morning you wake up and you think, Oh my God, what did I get myself into? That means you were just interested momentarily. And also, if you wanted to commit to it, you still could, but fear is taking over you. Guess what I do? I still go through with it. I still do it. I find time to do it because the fact that people can count on me, that trust, that honesty, the loyalty, I do not want to lose that. I don't want to disrespect them and telling them you can't count on me. I am just hot air and words. That's what it boils down to. So make that decision. Is it just interest or is it commitment really? Number three, stop the excuses. Let's say you are around a bunch of friends and they're saying, do you want to go to this event? And you're like, yes, yes, sure, count on me, count on me. And in that moment, you already know that you're going to come up with some excuse or story later on, stop yourself in your tracks. You're lying to your friends about what really is. You got to step outside of that fear for the sake of your friends and for the sake of yourself. Step outside of that lie. They might already know that you're going to be the person that backs out anyway and there's another excuse that you're going to come up with. Is that something you want to be known for? So you got to learn where is it that I make these excuses for myself? Where is it that I commit? And then where is it that I try to get out of it? And I come up with every story and excuse in the book. Number four, redefine your goals. When you know where you're headed, when you know what your goals are, you know whatever you're committing to and you're not committing to, the reason behind it is it's helping serve your purpose, is it helping you get closer to your goal? Is it something that's not really beneficial to you? Redefine your goals, know exactly where you wanna be in life, who you wanna be, what you wanna do, and that 
would help you make decisions. I myself, I'm very honest. If I can't do something, I'll tell you no, and I'll tell you a very kind and nice no. And I'll also give you the reason why I can't do it. I don't want to make a promise that I cannot keep. I don't want to say yes and call them the next day and say no, or just don't show up. A gentle, kind, and honest no has more value in my world than an unreliable yes. I hope these tips are going to lead you to a fully committed life. I can't wait to see you all next week. Until then, keep happy and healthy.